In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a clustered bar plot using pivot charts in Microsoft Excel. So you can see here I have my data set. I have 1,470 rows of observations about fictional employees in a company. And what I'm interested in knowing is how often employees in each of my different departments here travel rarely, frequently, or not at all. So to do that, I'll click anywhere here in my data set and I'll come up to insert. And in the charts group, I'll select pivot chart. I'll go ahead and select OK because I do want this to show up in a new worksheet. Now I'm interested, I want my categories to be my business travel values, unique business travel values. So I'm going to select that and simply drag it down to the axis for my categories. I want my, I want it to be split by department. So I'm going to put department here in the legend for series. And now I need to select something for my values. All right, so I'll just select something totally unrelated to what we're interested in, daily rate. I'll drop that in here. And now you can see I've got, I only have 1,470 employees, but I have values here north of 500,000. And the reason is that because daily rate is a numeric value, Microsoft has defaulted to just taking the sum of those values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little down arrow here. I'm going to go to value field settings, select count instead of sum, OK. And now you can see that my values are correct. They check some to 1,470, which is what I would expect. And now I can expand this a little bit. If I want to get rid of these buttons here, I can just right click, select hide all field buttons on chart. And now I have a usable chart. And if I want to further design or change the way it looks, I can come up to the design tab here, select different appearances for it, or come up to add chart layouts to do things like adding axis titles or other elements. That's all there is to it. If you like what you see, feel free to click the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. And until next time, happy learning.